fault for no I don't know the lyrics of the song I don't know I don't know I don't know oh, I don't know Lost in your eyes Under your spell Oh it's like we've always So hello and welcome back to another video with the SCB. If it happens to be the first time you be on this channel, we would love you to stay. So kindly hit the subscription button, that red button over there. Just click on it to join this family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you once again for tuning in to join us. Oh, so, uh, he doesn't need to introduce himself. But anyway, that's my dad. Yeah, I don't look like him. I look like my mom. Anyway, before you say that, I look like my mom. <laughs> but today is Happy Father's Day. So I want to wish him a Happy Father's Day. You know, uh, may he live long. We pray that uh, God will continue to keep them safe for us. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. But uh, I have two questions that I want to ask him. And the first question is, how has it been like being a father to myself and Rebecca, my sister? Okay. Uh, actually, as my daughter tell us, introduced me to you. Yeah. Uh, she is my eldest, a, eldest uh, daughter, and the second one is Rebecca. Mm -hmm. uh, I am very gracious to God that He has given me these two ladies or daughters because um, it's not everyone that can get this. Uh, daughters but i will say i'm blessed that god has given me these two ladies and they are more than everything in this world when you have uh, children and you raise them to this extent that means that uh, god is in god is back in the scene mm -hmm. and at the same time is the dream of the Lord. The Lord. Okay. So, if God has helped me to raise them to this extent, I may say that He has done good thing to me, and mm -hmm. also my special spouse, which is uh, uh, my uh, I call him Mom. You call her. I, I call her Mom. Okay. Because you mean my mom? <laughs> she is my everything. So I cannot ignore her in anything. Whatever I do, mm -hmm. you know, she knows everything what I do. Man, I I can quote from the Bible. Mm -hmm. There was a fig tree when Jesus was passing by and he, he saw the tree and she uh, meant to have something to eat from from the uh, the tree. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately when he brought when he saw the tree, the tree was there. Mm -hmm. there, there is no, uh, the tree was not producing anything. Mm -hmm. So Jesus cursed that tree that, tree, yeah. that no one should eat from the from, tree. From the tree. Yeah. So uh, as a man, you have to produce. If I'm saying you have to produce, you are going to take care of your children, take care of your wife, Take care of everything in your household. But wait, I don't want to. I don't need to interrupt. But it's not the Bible says it's not everyone that is going to give birth. It's going to produce children. Yeah. Uh, so are with, you talking with, about with, though? Uh, with that, mm -hmm. uh, if the Lord hasn't uh, blessed you with children, mm -hmm. uh, you should not worry yourself. Mm -hmm. Maybe is the Lord that has uh, done that thing in your life. Mm -hmm. So when you force yourself to go through uh, so many things, maybe it will, uh, it, bring, will uh, uh, it will bring a lot of problems to your life. So what, what so, is that one encouragement that you give so, to so, those who so, have not had the chance yeah, to so, birth children? Yeah. So if you have not had any uh, issue, mm -hmm. you have to you don't have to worry yourself, but rather you pray to God always. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is the will of the Lord, mm -hmm. even your 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 if uh, you are aging, mm -hmm. at a certain 
uh, age that a man say you cannot produce, mm -hmm. but the Lord can do wonders in your life. And as uh, I can quote from the Bible, uh, Sarah was hundred years, mm -hmm. and the Lord opened her womb. Mm -hmm. So if you are not having any issue, uh, like uh, giving birth, mm -hmm. I can advise you to serve. Stay on your feet mm -hmm. and pray always. Uh, what if the person doesn't know God? If he does not know God, mm -hmm. I will advise you still have patience. Mm -hmm. Stay look for God. And look for God. If you have patience, uh, God can uh, do wonders in your mm -hmm. life. Either you are a, a Christian or if you are not a not Christian, uh, everybody is under umbrella of the Lord. Okay. So if you believe that there is existence of the Lord, that means God can also uh, come to your uh, rescue and He can do wonders in your, life. in your life so that you can also have your, your children. Okay. So the next question is, what is that one advice that you give to a young man or woman? Yeah, it's a young man or woman coming up who wants to you know get married one day but obviously uh they have plans towards it but they are not yet married and even those who are married what is that one just one advice no long sentence okay. one, one thing my advice to especially the, the youth mm -hmm. who are coming up yeah. to enter into marriage uh, god issued married from the ori original uh day mm -hmm. And apart from marriage, anyway, apart from marriage, God can uh, open another chance to uh, let people to multiply. Mm -hmm. But uh, God said, uh, Adam, when He created Adam, mm -hmm. and uh, He asked Adam to sleep. Mm -hmm. Adam does not know that that sleep He was going to sleep. God will use that. Uh, way to uh create a woman a, create a, a woman out of his sleeping mm -hmm. but it is a wisdom of the lord oh god so when he created also uh eve mm -hmm. and adam saw that this is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh so uh with that you have to know that as you are going to enter into a uh, marriage mm -hmm. You, you you have to ask God. By asking God, you have to pray. Mm -hmm. You set a part of uh, what you call your body, mm -hmm. uh, and you pray that may, maybe two years to come, I have to get into marriage, or one year to come, I have to get my spouse. So, so you are praying towards the your future to, marriage. The future marriage. Okay. So, if you didn't pray, you are going to choose wrong the wrong person. person. Okay. So, this is the key to enter into marriage. Pray. You have to pray. And secondly, uh, after you have entered into marriage, mm -hmm. you need to do everything. Uh, you cannot do anything without your spouse. So, do everything together. Yeah. You have to get understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, you love your wife. Your wife also have uh, love you. You cherish how uh, she is doing. Mm -hmm. By so doing, your marriage will be uh, fruitful, and people will cherish how you you manage uh, your marriage. Okay. And my advice to my my age groups mm -hmm. and uh, those of. The people who are also under me, mm -hmm. my, under my age, yeah. and those he's who talking are, about below sixty. Yeah, yeah. and those he's about 60, so. who, who are who are above my age. Mm -hmm. My little advice to anyone, any one of them who are listening to me, that mm -hmm. uh, we should love our spouse and we should take care of them mm -hmm. and we should stand that. God, we are the head of uh, our family. Mm -hmm. As Jesus is the head of the church, the church. it is also your saying responsibility. That you, are, you, to have to, you have to know your responsibility. Okay. A man without knowing his responsibility is not it's a not man. Responsible man. It's not a, spon a responsible man. Okay. So, one, you have to know your responsibility. Your spon responsibility is 
take care of your, your children and your wife. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't need to sit down and your wife comes up and he will dictate to you that my my lord I I need this one, I need this so so far as you are uh, staying in the same house and you you have to know that you are shortage of this, shortage of this. So don't sit down and your wife to come to you always. You have to. Uh, you need to know what. Yeah. What is finished and what and is not finished. So okay. that everything will be smooth. Okay. Uh, and people will also cherish your marriage. Uh, your marriage. Okay. This is the small advice I would like to intro, uh, this, introduce to. Okay. This is half a question. How long have you been married now? I've married thirty-five years now. So it's thirty-five years ever since yeah. they got married. Yeah. Hmm? So do your calculations. How old am I? <laughs> So 35 years. So what is that one advice that you would give to anybody? Whether the person is married, the person is not married, the person is single, the person is not single, about your experience in marriage. Just one advice. Don't talk plenty. <laughs> one advice is fair. Okay. One <laughs> advice is... Yeah. Uh, you have to... What's the key in the, your marriage that you the, think my, is... My so key specific? in my marriage... Yeah. I am a prayerful person. Okay. So my children also have uh, taken up and my wife also without prayers you cannot uh, what do you call it marry to your spouse mm -hmm. for so many years in other words prayer is a key in your prayer marriage. is a key okay. in the marriage and at the same time you have to be an open person okay open minded be transparent transparent okay. you should come among yourselves okay without that uh, transparency every time there is argument argument a lot of problem okay. and uh, if i'm saying that you have allowed yourself mm -hmm. to bring that problem exactly. to your marriage okay so transparency is also key is also key and the next and a, a next one is understanding understanding you have to understand each to, other each other Mm -hmm. You have to understand, as you are understanding to yourself, mm -hmm. you have to understand your spouse also. Okay. Okay. And at the same time, you have to love your wife. And love your husband. And love. Vice versa. Yeah, vice versa. Mm -hmm. So, love cater for everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe you, at a time, uh, your wife, you have done something, even though if it is from you or not, mm -hmm. uh, there is going to be a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. So, you don't have to argue too much mm -hmm. and bring so many problems to yourself. Okay. You have to understand her and she also understand, understand you. you. Okay. So understanding uh, is also number yeah. three. Uh, okay. You say why why should you put I put this thing here and I don't know the reason why you take it off and you put it away. Uh -huh. uh, you have to understand to each other. Okay. And at the same time, you have to love yourself. Yes, at the same time, okay. you love your spouse also. Okay. So, uh, our journey, our yes. journey, 35 years in marriage, mm -hmm. a lot of things has happened. Has happened. Yeah. But uh, it is a grace. So it's uh, by the grace of God. Yeah, it is by the grace of God. We are still uh, married. Okay. So, it's not easy. As I'm saying, it is... It is by the grace of God. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and lastly, mm -hmm. do not uh, hide yourself from sexual uh, intercourse. Yeah, so intimacy. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, maybe as a, uh, I, I'm an elder person, mm -hmm. I'm a church elder, mm -hmm. and I've entered into fasting and prayers. Mm -hmm. and maybe my wife, she needs me. Uh -huh. I cannot say no, I won't do it. Okay, so you mean even though you are fasting? Yeah. Are you listening? If yes. you are fasting, you yes. still have to make time for your wife or your husband. Yeah. Don't say because you are fasting, you can't have sex. You yeah. should be you able should, to should, find should. time and have sex yeah. with your spouse as yeah. well. Okay, that's also a good advice. So, this yeah. is the advice. That These are the few keys. There are so many keys, yeah, but yes, so this is just keys. few keys. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, all right. I'll say thank you. And, and, and I have to greet my, my fellow. <laughs> I send my warmest 
greetings to you have just three people you yeah, can greet three my my old friend uh -huh. uh -huh. that's my one father's day to you uh -huh. and uh, my old friend in america mm -hmm. uh samolati uh -huh. that's two Kukotaku. yes and last one my brother-in-law happens to be my old friend mm -hmm. Also in Senyab mm -hmm. Richard Sibley. Yeah, he is done. The, the he... end, I have to extend my warmest greetings <laughs> to uh, my mom, which is my, my better half. Uh, my with, mom? Yeah. Literally. Mm -hmm. I, without her, I cannot do anything. So, mm -hmm. if I'm speaking, uh, there is a saying, any successful man, mm -hmm. there is... Uh, what behind every successful behind man, there, there is... is a woman. A woman. I would say, yeah, so, put it that way. Yeah. Let me say that. Okay. And so, together with my father, he has done because if I give him the chance, he talks, ah, what I can say with me. How do you say Happy Father's Day? You are with greetings to all the people in Ewutu uh, Senya. How do you say it? In our language. In our language. Yes. Um, I tell me, I don't know how to read. Okay, he has said it all, so thank you guys for watching.